I'm willing to bet you haven't seen that many videos filmed this way before, and there's a pretty good reason why. Until fairly recently, it would have been almost impossible. See, I'm filming myself right now from a drone that's tracking me as a subject, automatically following me and keeping me in frame. And it's a little bit of work to set up, but it's honestly not that difficult. It's worth it as well, because it's a cool, unique perspective. It's a smooth, dynamic camera movement. But there is a problem, and that's this. Any audio we record will have the sound of the drone in the background, and it's not quiet. So what do we do about that? Well, modern audio noise reduction tools are available that can pretty much eliminate that annoying buzz without trashing any of the good stuff, any of the voice. So that just leaves us to enjoy this awesome, impossible aerial walk and talk shot. And when I'm done talking, I can just take manual control of the drone and do this. Hi, I'm George. Welcome back to Bigger Feet. I'm honestly so excited about this impossible shot. I mean, it's not the most useful thing to do. You wouldn't want to do this all the time, but it's genuinely something I couldn't have done 10 or even five years ago. And there's a few cool technological developments that I wanted to share with you that made it possible. The first, obviously, is the drone itself. This is a Mavic 2 Pro from DJI. It's not even their most recent or most fabulous drone, but it's pretty incredible. Apart from just being a very solid, stable, impressive piece of kit, the fact that it does that auto track thing and it's not just a gimmick for marketing it actually kind of works really well it blew my mind and I suppose another factor is that it is quiet enough that you can do this even a few years ago drones were much less quiet and much less capable than this and it just moves in good directions all the time like just look at these shots from a short film I made about 10 years ago I was cast and crew so I was just holding the camera pointing it at myself and trying to pretend that I wasn't and it was rubbish so even if only for the unusual situation when you're out alone and you want to record a cool tracking shot this is pretty amazing so although there's not a million different use cases for that kind of behavior it's something I would genuinely use in the right circumstances but then of course beyond the drone the thing that really makes this possible the stuff I think is so truly wild and exciting about this shot is all in the audio so the first thing of course is you've got to get a microphone close enough to your subject that it picks up the voice cleanly without too much of the external noise and with wireless mic packs like these Rode things that we use you can for a very reasonable price get good quality sound right up close you can even attach a wired lav mic for an even more hidden placement then this thing would go in the pocket and this would just go taped up inside the shirt or something so that's neat but the real star of this show is the noise reduction software and I just want to go into a bit more detail on that now so I actually used a blend of two different methods to take away the noise. One of them is amazingly completely free, a new Adobe tool from the podcast suite. Just drag and drop the bad sound and it gives you back a better sound. It's unbelievably good. It turns this original recording, I'm willing to bet you haven't seen that many videos filmed this way before, into this. I'm willing to bet you haven't seen that many videos filmed this way before. It's just very, very good at recognizing what is a voice and eliminating everything else. A couple of little problems with it though. One is that it creates a bit of a muffled sound. You're not able to kind of tweak and fine tune the settings to preserve those higher frequencies. So depending on what you put into it, you get out a more or less okay sound. The other thing I think is a bit weird about it though is here, if you listen carefully, pretty much eliminate that annoying fuzz, pretty much eliminate that annoying fuzz, that annoying fuzz, that annoying fuzz, that annoying fuzz, 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 fuzz. I'm pretty sure I said buzz initially, but Adobe Podcast gave me back fuzz. And that leads me to believe that it's actually reconstructing some of the words from its data set. It's like AI assisted, so it takes other recordings and kind of uses them to piece back what it thinks the word was. So in particularly challenging situations like this one with a lot of weird background noise, it can just kind of make mistakes like that. And again, because you don't get to dive in and fine tune, you're kind of left with what it gives you. But nonetheless, an unbelievably cool tool and it's free. I also use though a little bit of uh, Isotope RA which is a sort of, I guess, industry standard noise reduction tool. Uh, let's just hear that phrase coming through RX. Pretty much eliminate that annoying buzz. It gets buzz right, but you can hear it's not actually as full of a sound. So I did end up blending the two together. RX gives you the chance with a bunch of different modules to optimize the sound in a bunch of different ways. So for example, on this audio, I used the spectral denoise tool, which listens to a noise profile, learns the sound that you want to remove and takes it away. So you give it a little bit where there isn't any speaking and then you use that to eliminate some of the stuff you don't want. I'm willing to bet you haven't seen that many videos filmed this way before and there's a pretty good reason why. And you can even hear what it's removing by clicking output noise only. 
And again, it's not perfect, but if you use these tools sparingly and combine them together, I also use this one called uh, Dialog Isolate, which is a little bit more like the Adobe podcast thing. It's designed to recognize a voice and select it out. I'm willing to bet you haven't seen that many videos filmed this way before. So by taking a combination of these tools and blending them together, it's just genuinely so exciting what a good result you're able to get from what was initially a pretty unusable recording. And that opens up all kinds of possibilities for recording good quality live dialogue on set where normally in the past you'd have had to use a lot of ADR. So even if you're not using a drone, maybe you're just filming in a noisy environment, lots of people around, lots of vehicles, lots of wind, you can still use the performances of your actors. Amazing, so cool. So it's not just about stupid gimmicks Mickey drone tracking shots like I did at the beginning of this video, but that's a cool test, isn't it? And we're all about learning more on this channel, so subscribe and give us a like, and we'll see you again in the next video.